Good morning, nature lovers. Welcome back to Tilari Epic Adventure at Venoshi Forest Homestead. Today is day two of our adventure, and guess what? We woke up to a stunning view from the glass house at the crack of dawn, 6.30 a.m. to be precise. The light was a beautiful mix of dark and light, and let me tell you, waking up to this view was an incredible experience. We quickly assembled at the Venoshi Forest Homestay Cafeteria at 7 a.m. Our group consists of 12 enthusiastic adventurers. Thankfully, we were all prepared. We had already packed our essentials like cameras, binoculars, caps, water bottles, and clothes the night before. After a quick 20-minute freshening up session, we grabbed some tea and biscuits to energize ourselves for the day's adventure. By 7.15 a.m., we were on our way. We piled into our designated vehicle, and our adventure for day two officially began. The weather conditions were simply perfect, adding another layer of joy to our excitement. Today is day two of our adventure, and we're thrilled to be continuing our exploration of the beautiful Venoshi Forest. In our last episode, we settled into the cozy Venoshi Forest homestay and got acquainted with our surroundings. The drive to Talcat Venudian was a visual treat. We passed through beautiful villages like Sassali, Kalani, and Ugaid. These villages were spotlessly clean and surrounded by lush forests. The traditional Kankani style houses added a touch of charm to the scenery. We made a quick stop for a refreshing 30 minute breakfast break near Ugaid village. The spot was a charming little bridge over a small stream. Here, we were joined by our local bird expert, Praveen Sad Oscar. His dedication to wildlife conservation is truly commendable, and his recent recognition by eBird for topping the charts in India for maximum bird species identification in Sindhudurg is a remarkable feat. During this break, we were surrounded by the beautiful calls of various birds, including barbets, sunbirds, bulbuls, and even a greater racket-tailed drongo. We also spotted a yellow-browed bulbul, flower peckers, a brown-breasted flycatcher, a vernal hanging parrot, and an Indian paradise flycatcher. Due to light conditions, we weren't able to get clear pictures of all the birds we saw. But fear not, birdwatching enthusiasts. The next two days promise an abundance of bird life, and we're determined to capture some stunning shots. After our delightful breakfast break, we continued our journey towards Talcat Venudian. My wife and I were particularly excited, as we have fond memories of this place from our visit in March 2021. Back then, we were fortunate enough to see some incredible lifers, birds we had never seen before, like the trogon and the fairy bluebird. We can't wait to see if we can spot them again this time. As soon as we arrived at Talcad Venudian, we were greeted by a beautiful symphony of bird calls emanating from the lush forest habitat. We were captivated by the sight of various birds flitting about in the distance, including sunbirds, flower pickers, bulbuls, and many more. Their constant activity made capturing them with our lenses a challenge. We were fortunate to get extended views and capture wonderful shots of the Indian Paradise Flycatcher, a pair displaying their captivating courtship displays. The vibrant blue plumage of the male and the elegant black and white of the female made for a truly stunning sight. Another delightful find, and a lifer for many in our team, was the forest wagtail. This charming little bird, roughly the size of a sparrow, is easily recognizable by its constantly wagging black tail. We observed this little bundle of energy flitting about the forest floor, expertly picking at insects and grubs with its slender beak. Team members also spotted the crested serpent eagle, puff-throated babbler, western crowned warbler, malabar trogon, and a few more birds on our checklist, although we couldn't see them ourselves. We spent a delightful two hours trailing through this beautiful forest, following the mesmerizing calls and songs of the birds. Sunlight filtering through the leaves created a dappled effect on the forest floor, making the entire experience truly magical. On our return journey, we encountered something unexpected and exciting, a signature spider. This turned out to be a magnificent golden orb weaver spider. Its large, golden web, meticulously constructed between the branches of a tree, shimmered in the sunlight. The spider itself, with its golden yellow body and black markings, was a marvel of nature to behold. 
After an exhilarating morning exploring Talcat Venudian, we returned to the Venoshi Forest homestay by 12.30 p.m. Most of us went straight to freshen up and rest before lunch. We were all famished after our exciting morning adventure, and a delicious lunch awaited us. The menu offered both vegetarian and non-vegetarian options, catering to everyone's preferences. After a satisfying lunch, a few of us decided to relax for a while at the homestay. The serene atmosphere and the comfortable hammocks strung between the trees were the perfect invitations to unwind. Meanwhile, a couple of our more adventurous participants ventured out to explore another hide set up near the lunch area. Their patience and silent observation were rewarded with sightings of numerous brown-cheeked fulvetas. These small, olive-brown colored birds with a bright yellow patch on their throat flitted in and out of the bushes, providing excellent opportunities for capturing some stunning footage. We also spotted orange minivets, both male and female, and a spider hunter. These sightings added to the day's impressive bird count. As the afternoon sun began to dip, we set out on our evening trail, our hearts filled with anticipation. Our journey was rewarded with the sight of the majestic brown fish owl. Native from Turkey to South and Southeast Asia, this owl is a master of its domain, ruling the forests and wooded wetlands one. Its golden eyes scanned the territory, a dance between nature's elegance and wild instincts. A drongo, a small passerine bird, was trying to distract the owl, a common behavior to protect its face. The owl, disturbed by the drongo, decided to move to another branch, giving us a different perspective to admire its beauty. Our adventure didn't stop there. We ventured deeper into the forest and found a Sri Lanka frogmouth, a small nocturnal bird native to the western ghats of South India and Sri Lanka. Its plumage resembled dried leaves, making it a master of camouflage. We approached it carefully, ensuring not to disturb its peace. One by one, we took turns to capture this elusive creature on our cameras, marveling at its unique appearance and learning about its fascinating characteristics. It was a lifer for many of us, a moment to remember. We moved on with heavy hearts, leaving behind the Sri Lanka frogmouth. We were initially looking for wood owl. Instead, we were rewarded with the sight of a jungle owlet, flying and settling down on a tree, providing us with a prolonged viewing opportunity. Our exploration led us to a beautiful small village near Erosbag, Banda, adorned with charming Konkani-style houses. We had the chance to interact with the locals over a tea breakfast. Around 5.40 p.m., we proceeded to a nearby area to witness a lifetime view of the sunset at Sri Wabalashwar Mandir. This must-visit place, located about 7 kilometers away, offered us stunning views of the sunset and the moon, set against the backdrop of various birds. As the day began to fade, we found ourselves at Sri Wabalashwar Mandir, a place of spiritual significance. This temple, nestled amidst nature, offered us a breathtaking view of the sunset. The sky painted in hues of orange and red, the setting sun cast a magical glow on the temple, creating a moment of serene beauty. This was not just a sunset, but a divine spectacle that left us in awe. Our journey in the wilderness introduced us to the thick-billed flowerpecker, a tiny bird known for its dark stout beak and short tail. This active bird, predominantly seen in the tops of trees and forests, feeds mainly on fruits. Its plumage resembled dried leaves, making it a master of camouflage. We managed to capture a close-up, eye-level long video of this elusive creature, marveling at its unique appearance and learning about its fascinating characteristics. We also sighted several other birds, including the Niljairai flowerpecker, purple-rumped sunbird, purple sunbird, bulbul, white-rumped minia, by a weaver and white-cheeked barbet. The night had grown deeper, and it was time to return to our base camp. Wow, what an incredible evening adventure on the Owl Trail. We hope you enjoyed discovering the fascinating brown fish owl, the elusive Sri Lanka frogmouth, adorable spotted owlets, and the flowerpecker with us. Our exciting exploration of Venoshi Forest Homestay continues with Day 3 and 4. Join us in the next episode for more breathtaking discoveries. Don't miss out on our upcoming explorations. Hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Thanks for joining us on this journey. See you next time for more exciting adventures.